All right, here's one more example um, before um, I can move on for today. So we basically have the five number summary for um, last week's quiz scores. The min is 30, Q1 is 32, the median is 33.5, Q3 is 35, and the max is 39. So does it appear as though there are any outliers? If so, how many? So um, I wasn't sure if I saw any outliers the first time I went through the test, and so I would have maybe reviewed this formula with you guys, but there is an outlier problem. Um, it's basically asking you to determine if it's an outlier. Well, there's two formulas for outliers, but only one can be used if you know the median and the quartiles, and that's the that IQR criteria. So let's go ahead and review that. Um, you take the median. Let me just make this a little bit darker. And add and subtract 1.5 times the IQR. Okay, so we need to figure out what the IQR is first. So let's go ahead and do that. Our IQR comes from the Q3 minus Q1. So that's 35 minus 32, which gives us an IQR of 3. Now, if we multiply that times 1.5, and we get 4.5. Okay, you can check it with a calculator. So if we're checking for outliers, we're going to do the median, 33, 1.5 plus 1.5 times the IQR, which is 3. And that ends up being 33.5 plus 4.5. If I add 4.5, that's 34. That means that it is 38. Is our cutoff for outliers. Well, look at our max up here. Our max is 39. That's bigger than 38, so it does appear as though we have at least one outlier, if not more. Um, so it appears as though we have an outlier too high, but we also need to check if it's too low. So we're going to take 33.5, subtract 1.5 times 3, that equals 33.5 minus 4.5. And we end up getting, let's see, that would be about 29. Let's see, subtract out the 0.5s, we get 33 minus, yeah, so 29. Well, 29 is lower than the min, so we're okay on that side. If we think of this as a number line problem, and look at a number line. Basically, the numbers that we have in our data set are between 39 and 30. Well, our cutoffs for the IQR are 29 and 38. So here's our cutoffs for the IQR, 29, and over here, 38. Okay. But the data set, if I were to graph this, 30 would be over here, okay? And I'm just going to draw, you know, probably some type of box and whiskers plot. Um, our max would end up being over here, and we'd actually end up making that an outlier and moving this point over here somehow. But this is past that, so this is definitely an outlier. I don't know how many more I have since I don't know how many numbers were around this. But there is one outlier, and... Um, it is high. So there's at least there's at least one high outlier. Alright, I'm pretty tired so I'm going to go ahead and um, post this and hopefully that's